How to find the voltage and resistance of a parallel circuit. Here I wrote a circuit from another video that I made called Current Divider Part 2. Um, here, just so you know, a property of parallel circuits is that when you have a voltage supply and you have branches like these that are in parallel with the supply, these branches have the same voltage as the, as the power supply. So here, if I want like the, the voltage on this resistor R1, I would call this, this voltage here, uh, if, if it had a different name, for instance, let's say this the voltage from here to down here, let's say I call that V1. If I called this V1, V1 would actually have the same voltage as the voltage of the supply. And that's just that's just because uh, this resistor is in parallel with this voltage supply. And that's just the property of of, uh, of circuits. So if they're in parallel, they have the same voltage. Or at least the, the branch has the same voltage. So here I have one branch. This is the first branch right here. This right here. This over here is the second branch. So I'd call that branch two. So this branch right here from right here to right here has the same exact voltage as branch one from here to here which is the exact same voltage of the supply from here to here. As a matter of fact if you have a, a voltmeter and you put your positive, your positive lead anywhere up here and anywhere down here you're gonna get the exact same voltage as this supply and that's just because it's a property of voltage of uh, of circuits in parallel or branches in parallel. So now this this branch right here is made up of two elements. Each of these elements is going to have some portion of the voltage of the supply. So I'm going to call this uh, this right here. This is going to be well, not the resistor. Uh, I'm sorry. So if I put my lead here and I put another lead here and I take a reading off of this with the voltmeter I would call that V1 and if I put a lead here and I put another lead right here I would call this voltage from here to here I would say that's voltage V2 now if I put another multimeter or another voltmeter and I put my positive lead here and I put my negative lead here I would call this voltage 3 now um, this voltage V1 is actually going to be the exact same voltage as V as the voltage of the supply from here to here. So th that's why, and it's just because they're in parallel. Now V2, this voltage from here to here will not be the same as the voltage of the supply, and that's just because you have these two resistors in series. So they're each going to get some portion of that total uh, uh, voltage. So let's continue on to the next one. So here I drew this other circuit, and these are all this all these resistors are in parallel. So this voltage, I would call this V1. I'd call this V2. The voltage here would be V3 and V4. Oops, it's a little sloppy. But uh, yeah, all those would have the exact same voltages. So the voltage V1 would be equal to the voltage of V2, which would be equal to the voltage V3, which is equal to V4 which is equal to the voltage of the supply, which is equal to 2 volts. Those all hold the same exact voltage just because they're in parallel. Now, this circuit down here is slightly different. And that's just because these two are in series. So, if I put one lead here, and then I put another lead right here, and I try to and I put a voltmeter on it, this would be V1. This voltage would be uh, a ratio of the total resistance. So I'll, I'll show you how to solve for that. So if I wanted to solve for V1, I would say V1 is equal to R1 divided by R1 plus R2 multiplied by the voltage of the supply. That's how you'd solve for the vol uh, for this voltage right here from here to here. Now for the resist for the voltage on R2. Well, that would be just almost the exact same process, just slightly different. You'd say V2 is equal to R2, 
That's the only difference. Uh, divided by R1 plus R2, multiply the voltage of the supply. And that's how you could do that. That's how you would solve for V2. So that's really the only difference. You just change the resistor that you're searching for. And that's when they're in series right here. Um, of course, this branch is also in parallel with, with this branch. So um, while this branch is in parallel with this branch, it, it is, it's also true that these two resistors are in series with each other. So that's how you'd solve for that. Uh, and I think that's that's it on that. So I hope that made sense. Uh, I've made a few other videos that that go even more in, into this this subject. So uh, check it out. I, I hope that made sense. And if it didn't, just uh, send me another email, and I'll I'll try to do one a little bit different. So uh, good luck in your classes, and I hope you enjoyed the video.